Hi fellow recording freaks, this is Adrian from APR Studios in Stavanger, Norway. Uh, in this video what we're dealing with today is how to get our recorded tracks in Pro Tools through the uh, Persona Studio Live console via the main bus of the Studio Live console and back into a uh, pre-mastering track in Pro Tools 9. Alright, what I have here is a basic setup. I have uh, Easy Drummer and I have uh, the tracks going out uh, on separate outputs. The kick is going to output 9 on my Presonus Studio Live 1642. Snare Top and Snare Bottom, they're both going to output 10, as you can see here. The Hi Hat and the Cymbals are 13 and 14 and the toms are 11 and 12. Now what I've also done is um, I've set in as you can see here the um, Chris Lord Algae plugins, I think they're very good uh, on uh, each track and I'm also sending my drums via bus 1 and 2 to a drum bus as I've called it there uh, and incorporated there the SSL uh, G master bus compressor. Okay, here's my MIDI file that I've just pulled. And it's just a loop from uh, from Easy Drummer. Uh, what happens here, of course, then, is I have uh, the actual drum bus is uh, or the SSL compression of all the drums, um, in addition to the separate outputs that the drums are going to. They're on their own stereo track there. So basically, then, on my um, Persona Studio Live channels nine to sixteen are my drums. Okay, so how do we get a master or a pre-master into Pro Tools? Very easy. Click on your last track, in this case Drum Bus. Go to Track, New, set up a stereo track and say Create. Now I've already done this, so I'm going to bring that track in now. There it is. Okay, now I've called this track Mix 1 and the reason I've done that is because you know I might want to mix it through the desk. I might want to turn off all the uh, effects uh, and dynamics and stuff on the desk and only use it in Pro Tools or vice versa. So basically, mix one. Um, I'll just get rid of this, what I've already recorded. Okay, good. Um, once you've created your stereo track, you need to go to the Universal Control and check in your setup that your main mix left and right is 17 and 18. It can be 19, 20, anything up to 31, 32. I use 17 and 18 simply because the tape in Firewire, uh, that is the two track in, uh, you press the Firewire, um, it'll play back through 17. So it's just, you know, I mean, you can basically use what you want, but I, I, I actually do it that way. Okay, with that set to 17 and 18, we exit that. And what we do now is our track, we set our input and our output to 17 and 18. Okay. Um, now what we do now is we mute the track just in case of feedback. Set the input and output of the new stereo tracks to 17 and 18. That's what we've done here. Um, and go to your desk now and check that the desk's tape in Firewire is turned off. That is, it's not lit. Okay. All right. So now, effect effectively, what's happening is all the channels on my desk are coming from Pro Tools, all these separate outputs here. This could, be, of course, be a whole band. They're going via the master fader on the desk. At this stage, you should check that that is at 0 dB or U as it stands on the uh, on the uh, uh, Studio Live. And then we're bringing it back through that fader here. So if I now click that onto record, and I hit pl uh, record and play, it will now record my audio. Here we go. And at this particular moment in time, monitoring is actually coming from 
Pro Tools into the separate tracks on the Studio Live desk. This works whether it's a 16 channel, uh, personas, whether it's two 16 channels put together for 32 tracks, or whether it's uh, the SL24. Okay, once recorded, disengage the record button on that track. Disengage the mute button and engage the solo button. So now all we're listening to is this track, okay? If you now go to your SL and engage the two track in Firewire button, you will then be able to monitor from Pro Tools via the two track in your master. And here it is. Okay, that's basically it. Um, let's go back over that then. You have a session, this is all your tracks. They're all going to separate outputs, let's say into their corresponding uh, channel inputs on your SL. In the case of mine, I can have a maximum of 16 um, channels. They are then going via the main master fader, which you should have set at U or 0 dB. We have set that up in the studio live to be 17 and 18. Input and output, 17 to 18. Mute the channel, put it into record mode, go up to your transport, hit record and play, and voila, there comes your track. Now, if you're happy with the mix for this one, simply mark your audio region go to the regions list, you see it's already marked, go down to export regions as files, if this is a pre-master then you would probably want to leave it at 4824 conversion quality, put it at tweak head for the slowest, choose a destination directory and then just export your file and Pro Tools will do that for you. Then it's just a case of going to where you originally exported that file and bring it into your mastering program. Okay, hope this helped. Thanks very much indeed. Bye-bye.